I think that's actually one of our selling points as a country is is the fact that we have, you know, one of the oldest surviving cultures in, we do. in, in history. Just tell me a little bit about that. Why was that important? Yeah, so it was very deliberate from day one that I saw this as an opportunity for us to have a new conversation, a relationship with our Indigenous Australians. Like there's much that has been done, but there is still so much to be done. So it simply was um, the right thing. And also internationally, people love and are curious about our Indigenous mm. story. So why wouldn't I use this as a platform upon which we can tell that? It makes good, you know, commercial sense as well as um, domestically. Um, so we worked with an Indigenous agency from the beginning, the same agency that did the, you know, the painting of the Qantas Plains, actually. So they represent a real diversity of Indigenous um, Australians. And it was a beautiful process. So, yes, they were involved in the early designs pre-COVID when we were um, looking at Wattle being a mm. part of our... Um, we wanted to imbue and tell the world a new story, so let's do that through a new vessel with um, a new narrative. You know, the Kiwis have... Um, the fern, the, the Canadians have the, the maple, maple leaf. leaf. Like there's lots of examples around the world. And we have the kangaroo. We have the kangaroo, yeah. But our native flower was wattle. So we did work with them on the Indigenous dot paintings. But you do dot paintings in the shape of a wattle and you do get a likeness to a coronavirus. Yeah. So yeah. exit stage left and start again. <laughs> um, but you learn things, you know, you learn things along the way. And well, how, the, were you, how were you to know that a, you know, a, a virus global would take pandemic. over the entire I know. world? <laughs> well, we did, the funny thing is we did market testing and you always do misattribution across a bunch of different countries yeah. to say, well, what does this actually look like in another country? Is there something we're not familiar with? It's, it's really fascinating research. So we did that with our little wattle, um, wattle mark and the misattribution for a virus was like 0.1% at the time, yeah? But pre-pandemic. <laughs> pre-pandemic. So it's like not an issue, yeah. not an issue. I think we got dandelions, we got like different things, yeah. but, but it wasn't oh, even. Dear. So how the context changes in the world and any branding, you need to be conscious mm. of how that you know, works. Someone like Corona beer has also been impacted by it. Like it's random. So our project was um, the same, back to the drawing board. Um, it was, there was a strategic... There's a big beer theme going through this podcast. Yeah, yeah, so someone who doesn't drink beer, <laughs> seriously. Well, me either these days, not that much. Anyway. No. Um, yeah. So we did have, there was a very strategic discussion, to rue or not to rue. Um, to rue or not to rue. Correct. Do we go kangaroo, tried and tested, or do we go a new yeah. path? And um, the world changed with coronavirus, so we needed to change accordingly. Um, and our kangaroo, love him or hate him, he's most instantly recognisable, shortcut to Australia, the world over. Um, so we came back to the roo, but we wanted it to be a modern contemporary roo that did imbue still that story of the Indigenous, Indigenous heritage. So it's made up of three um, Indigenous boomerangs, one ceremonial, one for hunting and foraging, um, and uh, the third one just for, for digging. Um, which is this beautiful elder um, of the tribe that we worked with and a younger um, emerging leader. It was just a beautiful process. And I would commend that you look at the little, there's a 30 second um, brand that tells the story behind, um, behind the boomerangs and the people um, and the representation that, that it symbolises. But it is designed to be a modern contemporary take on our kangaroo that's forward Forward facing. Yeah, and I, I felt that looking at it. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. And I think it's it's going to be such a good, positive, modern representation yeah. of our country. Well, a fun fact to... is I think 28.9% of global searches annually in relation to Australia is the word, guess. Kangaroo. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that. Yeah. Um, it's so such a unique animal. We right? may or may not kind of relate yeah. to it, but it's how the world views us. So let's leverage that and, t and lean into it. Yeah.